good morning. Well, okay, good day. It's almost noon. It's like 30 minutes till noon. Look at that. Doesn't that look nicely fermented and everything? I wish this did a little bit better on like three dimensional. So I'm wearing like HD, but it doesn't. Dogs just chase the squirrel away. Ladies are hungry. It's another, it's a nice day. It's actually pretty nice. It's just a little chilly, which is why you know, I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt um, over another shirt. But it's only like, I just checked it a minute or two ago. It's only like 48 degrees out, 49 degrees out, which is one of the, so this is how it goes in New Mexico for those of us who don't live in New Mexico. I know, I'm going to get your pant which looks like it might have been licked clean by a dog, even though she didn't bark last night to ask to be let out. So. But um, anyway, getting back to the weather of Albuquerque. This is how it goes in New Mexico. We get like, well, it's super clear. It goes, oh, we're gonna have like a nice day. This is gonna be the last day that. Hello, Chanticleer, can I get by? Can I have, yeah, thank you. Um, We'll have like a nice day. It'll be like up in the 70s or whatever. I go there. Hi. Oh, good scratching. So, you needed a good scratching. Is that it? Do you want to go some scratching? <laughs> How about you? I don't want a good scratching. We'll have like a day in March or something where it's, you know, like. 70 degrees or almost 70 degrees. It's really nice weather. The sun will be shining. It won't be breezy, which it's not right now. The winds have been horrendous for the last two days. And you can get started on gardens and everything like that. And uh, then the winds will pick up and the temperature will all of a sudden drop. And you'll have like freezing nights again. And it won't get much above 60 degrees or whatever in the daytime. And that's what happens. So that's one of the reasons why we have... The, the weather is kind of sporadic here. Hi. You brought your bus? Is it the dinosaur train? You know, you don't have shoes on. You want to take your socks off or go get shoes? I'm going to take my socks off. That's what it is. So back to why we have greenhouses. So, and you can, let me get closer, you might be able to see the steam better. Oh. I need it. I'm being bad, I didn't turn up the... Ooh, for crying out loud. Why won't let me do it right now? Yes, it will. There it is. There, now I can see the steam, and you guys can probably see it better too. But you can see the steam on this. This is one of the reasons... Hi, Tyrone. Did you take your socks off? Where'd you put them? Oh, you put them by the back door. That's cool. Thank you. Is it cold out without your socks on? Kind of. Um, so, anyway. It can get cold and everything rapidly all of a sudden. So that's one of the reasons why we have a greenhouse. So that plants that we start early in the season can survive. I've been trying to get her to go outside like most of the morning and play. So she's now enjoying the cold grass. Alright, let's watch this. Mm. As you guys can probably tell, my son is awake.
All right. I'm just going to let that sit for a moment. Um, so again, the reason why I'll have greenhouses is because we have fairly sporadic weather. Uh, I would almost call it schizophrenic because it'll be warm, like I said, up into the 70s and it won't be freezing for like a week or, you know, three days or something like that and then all of a sudden we'll get just this cold spell where everything that you might have just planted will freeze where the ground will freeze again or something and you have to start over. So that's one of the reasons why we have a greenhouse. Um, and as you, if you guys have watched the us uh, the video where we put together that raised greenhouse bed then you'll know that you don't have to have nice wood or whatever you can make it out of tires which is what we did we made it out of tires and cinder block and we have a lot of other scrap pieces lying around and everything like that we don't um a couple years back i saw something for a vertical gardening so uh, not just a raised bed but you know, a planter that was vertical. And there's, I'm trying to remember where it was. I think it's in China, but, or Asia at least in some places. It might be South Korea. There's a structure in a country where it's brand new, it looks really futuristic, and it's a vertical, it's a gigantic city of vertical planter, and it's in a public park. And um, a one example of a small scale of this is, and there's an actual product it's not very common as far as I can tell, um, but it looks like a Christmas tree basically and there's probably like 120, eh, I think or so, um, con containers. Hang on. Sorry, what's wrong, sweetie? What happened? What wrong? What's wrong? What? Did you step on something? What's wrong? What what happened? A tree. The tree hurt you? What? Let me see. Is there something in your hand? Is there something in your foot? What's going on? Did you fall against the tree? Let me look at you. What's wrong? You gotta talk to me. <laughs> All right, come here. You got me. I got you. That's right. All right, let's have a look at your feet. What happened? Well, there's nothing on your footy. Nothing on that footy. What about your hand? Nothing there, nothing there. Nothing there. Okay, I've inspected all of the normal areas. What happened? Did you all... Oh. Ooh. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Oh! I know, you've got something still stuck in your head. That's right. You ran into the... You poor thing, you ran into the tree with your head? Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetie. Let me look again. Let me look at it. You've got quite a little hole in your head. Stupid phone won't focus. And you ah. got the band -aid. again. And you got the band -aid. You need a band-aid. My husband told me not to break the stand thing again. Well, I didn't break the stand. I broke the thing that goes into the stand. And But it's made from cheap plastic. I can't put a band-aid in your hair. You got it good, kiddo. You got a little hole in your head. I do. I know. I do. It's I do. Oh. I have no tree. There we go. You guys see that hole? I know. I know. You, you ran into it. Oh, it's me. I oh. ran into the tree. You ran into the tree. Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetie. This tree. I know. Mom's going to chop that tree down this year. Mm hmm. I might just do it today. You just do it a tree? Yeah, I might just chop down that tree today. Makes good firewood. Mommy, you need you need that the band aid. Uh, I don't think I can't put a band aid in your hair, sweetie. It'll make it hurt more because when I we take it won't stay either. <laughs> a squirrel has been seen. All right, do you want to go inside? 
Oh, your brother's fussing. <sighs> it's a little crazy. <laughs> you can't tell. Hello, turquoise. Hello. You are you warm today? It's kind of cold. All right, I'll open the door for you. I just hope she didn't walk over myself. And I'm gonna throw this in the laundry. Cause I, obviously she didn't come this way, so she had to come this way. There she goes. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Hi. Is that the camera? Is that the oh. camera? Ah. Ah, 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 ah. A bright light shining into my eyes. <laughs> okay. I think we'll stop this video here for now and try again <laughs> in a little bit.